द जोग्रफिक पार्ट दट इज इंडिया फॉरेस्ट रिसोर्स इन दिस लेसन वी आर वी शेल रेडी वी शेल रीड अबाउट सम इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर्स दट आर द फर्स्ट वन इज Desert vegetation, then mountain forest, 
then finally and the sixth one is mangrove forest yes the first one is the tropical evergreen forest these are tropical evergreen forests are found in areas of where heavy annual rainfall exceeding 250 cm km exceeding 250 cm there only we can see tropical evergreen forest then they are find found mainly on the western slopes of the western ghats and hills of north eastern states of assam nagaland meghalaya tripura manipur and andaman nicobar islands these tropical evergreen forests are dense and the trees grow to a great height it has grow great height these are tropical evergreen forests the trees and the plants do not shed their leaves during the year at the same time hence they are evergreen forests they are evergreen the whole year they should not uh, shed their uh, leaves the important trees which are found in the tropical evergreen forests are called teak rosewood yabhoni mahogany gurjanan champa are these important trees were found in the tropical evergreen forests these forests are found in areas with an annual rainfall of 100 to 200 cm these forests are found in areas with an annual rainfall of 100 to 200 cm these are about tropical evergreen forest the another most important type of uh, forest are the tropical deciduous forest okay let us what are the features of uh, uh, deciduous forest let us read now they are occupied a wide area largely on the eastern slope of the western ghats including maharashtra karnataka kerala tamil nadu chota nagpur plateau and foot hills of himalayas and some parts of odisha and west bengal can be seen these are tropical deciduous forests then the trees in these forest shed their leaves during spring and early summer yes these deciduous forest features are the trees like the trees are shed their leaves and during uh, at the time of during spring and early summer hence they are also known as monsoon forests the important trees are teak sal sandalwood kusum kanju mayrobala siris mango neem tamarind and many etc were uh, natural uh, vegetations uh, natural trees were grown in the tropical deciduous forest then third type of forest is scrub scrub forest and grassland these are 
found in areas having 60 to 100 cm of rainfall these scrub forest and grassland type of forest can be found or having a 60 to 100 cm of rainfall the scrub with the short coarse grass and thorny trees and bushes are found scattered like scatter they found in these type of uh, scrub forest and grassland forest for found in kutch which was uh, located in gujarat and uh, fringes of uh, thar desert yes then grasslands are mainly found in eastern uh, states they are in uh, rajasthan found in rajasthan punjab and some parts of western and uh, uh, western ghats and uh, cardamoms then the fourth type of forest is desert vegetation type of forest these are found in areas with the with annual rainfall of very little of 10 to 50 cm rainfall there the thar desert including the parts of punjab haryana rajasthan and deccan plateau then an account of scanty rainfall vegetation consists of scattered trees and the thorny bushes and where what type of trees were found here john kair polko babul cacti and khejra trees are found in desert vegetation the trees and the plants which grow on the slope of the mountain are called mountain forest what is mountain forests the trees and the plants which grow on the slopes of mountain are called mountain forests the plants and trees are vary with increasing altitude the important trees are oak chestnut ash beech pine cedars fir deodar and walnut for the important trees were found in the mountain forest then the desert vegetation forest is there in india they occur in the this type of forest occurs in the himalayas and to a small extent in the nilgiri hills and the sixth most uh, one more important uh, type of forest is mangrove forest these mangrove forests are found in west marshy areas in the river deltas along the sea coast washed by tides they are mainly found in delta of rivers on the eastern coast and also found in pockets on the western coast of india then important trees were seen in mangrove mangrove forest are rhizopra trees canes screw pipe palms and sundari buns sundari uh, trees were found in mangrove forest the trees trunks are supported by a number of uh, stilt
chilled like roots which are submerged under the water the total here okay uh, we uh, learned all the types of uh, forest and their features and their uh, uh, trees were uh, growing uh, uh, where which type which trees are grown in the uh, in which uh, type of uh, forest that's the distribution of forest the total forest area of india is about 7.74 lakh kilometer square once again the area of india the forest area of india was about 7.74 lakhs kilometer square it accounted for about 23.6% of the total geographical area of the country this is much below the 33.3% recommended by the national forest policy resolution of 1952 even it is below the world's average below the world's average that is 29.5% forest in india are not evenly distributed nearly 60% of the forest area of the country is in the himalayas area and the peninsular hills and the 20% is in the northern plains among the states madhya pradesh has the highest area under forest and goa is the least having forest uh, state in india then the expansion of agricultural land construction of uh, roads and uh, railway where are the you can see where uh, forest land can be uh, decrease the expand due to of expansion of agricultural land then uh, construction of roads and uh, railways then uh, irrigation projects industrialization and uh, urbanization and uh, over grazing and uh, forest fires then so conservation of forests Yes. the prevention of uh, destruction prevention of destruction over exploitation of forest and its management is called conservation of forest what is conservation of forests the prevention of desert destruction the prevention of destruction over uh, exploitation of forest and its management is called conservation of forest. measures for the conservation of forests in india control of deforestation and uh, restriction on grazing control of forest uh, fires and prevention of encroachment on forest and control of forest insects and diseases and controlling the illegal cuttings of trees and the scientific cutting of our trees and the legislation of to check deforestation and encouraging afforestation and encouraging uh, encourage afforestation these are the measures of uh, conservation of forests in india and wild life sanctuaries yes wild life sanctuary refers to a place for providing protection to wild life the place where the providing protection of wild life that is wild life sanctuary 
YL, W, L, S. Yes. Is an area where killing or capturing of any species of animals is prohibited except under orders of the competent authority. There are let us see how many centuries are there in India. There are 523 about wildlife centuries are there in India. Are there in India. The important wildlife centuries are uh, Annamalai and uh, Madhumalai, which was in Tamil Nadu. Then Dandeli, Bhadra, Dalakaiveri, BR Hills. These uh, wildlife, uh, wildlife centuries were there in Karnataka. In Kerala, we can see in Periyar. Then Nagarjuna Sagara, wildlife century in Telangana. Bharatpur and Rathambur wildlife centuries in Rajasthan. Then Manas wildlife centuries in Assam. Jalatpura wildlife century in West Bengal. Okay. We read uh, wildlife centuries, centuries. Then today, one more uh, important uh, point is national parks. An extensive area which is specially protected to preserve its natural beauty. To protect its natural beauty, wildlife and uh, forests for public recreation and uh, scientific interest is called National Park. Yes. Why we having a National Park? And what is national park? An extensive area which is especially protected to preserve its uh, natural beauty. Wildlife and forests for public recreation and scientific interest is called national park. Forestry, grazing or agricultural activities are not allowed in this area of national park. See how many national parks are there in India? There are 99 national parks are there. Some important national parks are in India. Kaziranga which was located in Assam. Sundarban which was in West Bengal. Karbet which was in Uttarakhand. Gir which was in Gujarat. Uh, and Khana, which was in Madhya Pradesh, and Mandipur, Banner Gatta, Nagarole, which are in Karnataka, then Sariska, Sariska, in Rajasthan. These are the important national forests over there in India. Then Biosphere Reserve. The Biosphere Reserves are a special category of protected area of land or coastal environments. Here people area, people are an uh, integral component of the system. The main objectives of the biosphere reserves are conservation, research, education, and a local environment. In India, there are 18 biosphere reserves have been identified. They are Nilgiri, Nanda Devi, Noke, Manas, Great Nicobar, Gulf of Mannar, Sundarban, Simili Pond, Kanchan Ganga, Pachamari, and many other biosphere reserves are. Okay, I hope you are all understand this lesson.